Well, hello and welcome to our Experts in Industry series. I'm David Poirier, the CEO of the Poirier Group. Uh, today, we're joined by Eugene Roman. He's a principal at Design AI Limited and previous CTO at Canadian Tire. Eugene is an AI advisor and senior AI technologist. He also specializes in leading innovation and software development teams. Um, after COVID, you know, many organizations have been really worried about their trust in third-party providers. And how, how do you feel you control managed security and IT outsourced services? Well, it's, it's a question of, of, as you say, trust. And trust is not easily won. Uh, the, the whole cyber security, uh, cyber threat space, uh, as we saw as recently as this last weekend when CRA got hit, uh, is a difficult area and will continue to be a difficult area. The thing about um, the, the approach is that a lot of companies and executives and companies uh, don't look at it like insurance. They have to look at it like insurance. If you don't have it, the security in place properly, you will get hit. Mark my words, you can quote me on that. So my approach is very straightforward. You bring in trust a trusted third party. If you don't know who to trust, it's up to the management team to figure that out. And if, if you're unsure, then you then you you call somebody like myself or somebody like a Poirier group and said, who do you trust? It's based on a reference and that reference matters. And trust is one of those things that uh, it's a combination of trust and expertise. In this area, you have to have deep expertise. And so I think uh, picking the right partner outside your organization is also important. If you have an attack, move. You can't wait. Uh, when you see a threat, this is where the FireEye type organizations and the Mandiants come in. They, they see threats and they, they alert and say, this threat's coming. And uh, are you properly prepared? And, and the, the thing about these cyber attacks, it's not just the, you know, and we think there's a human at the end of it. It's a machine attacking you. And these botlets, this is, it's AI that's attacking you. You know, one of the things that I've uh, been working on very carefully is, is um, adaptive intelligence, that's a form of AI, adaptive intelligence to respond to attacks. How does the, the, the cyber shield learn from the attack and modify itself to protect you? But the point being is, is every organization has to adapt, adapt in this world. Um, companies have to be careful what they do with data that customers entrust with them. And so equally important to securing your, your, your system, to securing your customer's data. Be careful. Uh, get to know Canada's privacy law. The pri Canadian privacy laws are tough, and they should but damn well be tough uh, for good and valid reasons. So, so data privacy, making sure you're not violating, you're not, not offside, the penalties are severe. The reputational damage is even worse. And, uh, you know, customer trust of data, customer can trust you with their data, you have to be very careful. Uh, zero trust is an area that every company has to have, both procedurally and processes and, and, and its practices. Uh, and what it means essentially is a lot of cybersecurity is outside in protection. Zero trust means inside out. Uh, you could have a, a summer student, for example, who is uh, using one of your computers. And under zero trust, all activity done by that computer is monitored. All activity by your employees is monitored. Any emails going out are monitored. So zero trust is very important. It's a two, it's a two way street. And, and, and employees, well, don't you trust me? No, but I don't trust your computer. And what goes on in the, in the operating system stack of a computer uh, is, is, is dangerous. And because it's, it's not just computers, it's networks, it's Wi-Fi connections, it's laptops, it's smartphones, you know, and don't get me started on bring your own device, you know, uh, the whole industry employees should bring your own device. How are you going to secure that? And co companies that tried that or, or hurt themselves badly. And, uh, you know, the cost of an incident, uh, a minor incident is four to five million bucks. Major incident like Target, three billion dollars US. So it's a variable scale. And, uh, you know, uh, I hope nobody ever has a $3 billion incident, but, oh my God, this, this is not, uh, this is not pleasant stuff. 